Hey, welcome to Slurp. Thanks for watching. Bye. Sorry, that doesn't make any sense. Brain, what's happening up there? Ah, I have spilt tea everywhere. This is gonna take me at least 15 minutes to clean up, and then I have to remember the fifth Spice Girl that we keep forgetting. It's Baby Spice. It's, it, it's probably Baby Spice. Huh, yes, so it is. Great work, great minds think alike. Well, I mean, I am your mind, so like. No, wait, I've got Baby Spice twice. Ah, this, I don't know how long this is gonna take, so it's up to you now, PJ, I'm really sorry. Okay, um. Color green's weird. No. Um, so today's slurp is gonna be totally themeless. So I've taken the plunge and asked you guys to ask me anything you want. And I tried to tame my hair before I started filming this video and it just made it more angry, okay? So let's slurp. Olivia asks, hey Peach, you working on any projects at the minute? Well, Olivia, as you may or may not know, I am incredibly busy right now. So I just released my card game, Fable Fights, which is super exciting. Everyone seems to be really into it, which is great. I've got a super big, big, big project that I'm about to announce any day now. It's the biggest thing that I've ever worked on. And I just made a super surreal meta crazy funny Oreo sketch over on Emma Blackery's channel, which you should totally go and check out by the way. I'll include a link at the end of this video because it is definitely something that you should just strap yourself in for and let it just happen at you. <laughs> Seriously, I had a lot of fun combining mine and Emma's styles together. You'll you'll see what I mean. Fiza asks, did you sleep with a nightlight when you were younger? I have this incredibly rare condition known as dark vision. It began to develop when the shadows and the shapes started evolving and transforming into monsters and I needed a way to defend myself. I trained my eyes to pierce the darkness to be able to check where the monsters are creeping around. In order to vanquish their souls, before they got too close to me. I was playing an invisible piano, by the way, if you weren't sure what I was doing there. <laughs> MC asks, is there a sweet potato near you right now? Yes, MC, I actually keep a sweet potato by my heart at all times, just in case somebody shoots me in the heart, the sweet potato would stop the bullet. I protect the potato, the potato protects me. We've got a bit of a, a, a friendship bond going on here. Jamie asks, favorite moment of a D&D &D campaign so far? So in the current campaign that I'm playing, I am the DM, which means that I am the storyteller, essentially. So my friends were crawling through a magical goblin dungeon that I created, obviously, and they snuck into a mossy stone room with a plinth at the center of it. The halfling thief grabbed this piece of parchment off the plinth, which activated a pressure plate. Valuable treasure awaits. Be prepared to get nothing. Press the slab for more time. Too many times, and the ceiling will cave in. And so this scary demon voice started counting down from 10. It sounded like this. 10, nine, eight. Yes, yes, I recorded that myself. And so they kept pressing the pressure plate to reset the counter in fear of dying. And so eventually the druid of the group said, Let's let it reach zero and see what happens. And they were all really nervous, but they left it. They let the voice count down to zero. And you know what happened? One time's up. <laughs> the back wall started to crumble away, revealing an amazing chest full of loot. I put them under a psychological test because naturally you would keep pressing the button. It was, it was a lot of fun, okay? DMs, try it, it's fun. Morticia's daughter asks, how's Wiggles the Clown doing? You know what? I haven't seen Wiggles the Clown for months. The last time I heard from him, he said he was gonna go stay in some hotel on a nearby planet. I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's coming back. I want him to come back because I miss him. I know you guys miss Wiggles the Clown. Let's try and track him down. Hashtag, let's find Wiggles. Let's get a petition going. Let's start crowdfunding this. We're gonna need clown finding gear. It's expensive, it doesn't come cheap. Let's do this, let's find Wiggles the Clown. I'm not even serious, don't, let's not get any of that going. Please, oh God, I've said it now. Sin Blainer asks, what helped you define your video making style? The simplest answer to this is that I just spent a lot of time over a number of years making lots and lots of videos. The trick to honing your style is to try out lots of different things and then just see what feels right. And you'll know what it is because it'll be a combination of your skill set and what you enjoy creating and what you find entertaining to watch. So yeah, that's it really. And finally, Randolph asks, any advice for people looking to learn to speak goblin? Okay, so you're going to need a large empty sack of potatoes and some kind of green paste. Okay, you need to wear the sack 
and cover your face in the green paste. Now you're going to need to hide amongst a goblin tribe for at least six months. The first month is gonna be difficult, okay? You're not gonna understand anything that anyone is saying. You're gonna be taking a lot of risks here, you're gonna be doing a lot of nodding, a lot of grunting, in hopes that you just kind of slide under the radar. Luckily, goblins aren't that smart, so you, you might just get away with that. After about four months, you should have a pretty good grasp of some basic goblin phrases and words, such as the following. Maldun. Hello. Ah, el mokek. I am hungry. Magdan Akathar. Kill the intruder. Ah, al takakak. Hakak tar ak tur. I am a sexy goblin, short and stout. Dog vak kar akukan. Derakata kik. Dark duk da duk tanker. When Zane left One Direction, my feels went through the roof. This is a well known method for becoming fluent in goblin, so I wish you all the best. Good luck. And stay safe. <laughs> Door. And on that note, that's all we have time for. I hope you cool cats enjoyed this episode of Slurp. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Bear with me with this whole video making thing right now. Like I said at the start of this video, I am super busy working on something that you guys are gonna love. And I am almost ready to start sharing with you the creation of this project because I intend to keep you guys in the loop from beginning to end. So videos on Kick the PJ may be a little sporadic. You're gonna be making all sorts of different kinds of videos. It's all gonna make sense super soon. So buckle up, it's gonna be an absolutely crazy ride. Cool, see you guys in the next video very soon. Aha, yes, I've got it. It's Funky Spice. <sighs> that doesn't look right.